About 112 million years ago, a shallow sea covered most of what we now know as Texas. Its vast coastal plains, lush with vegetation, were home to sauropod dinosaurs, among the largest plant-eating animals that ever lived. One species of Texas sauropod was 60 feet long, with a small head and 26 foot long neck. Stout legs supported its massive body. Its long tail was held aloft as it walked. The coastal plains were also home to theropods, carnivorous predators that were smaller and lighter, ran on hind legs and had claws that could grasp and teeth that could tear. To a 30 foot long theropod, the sauropod's imposing size was not a real threat. It meant a satisfying meal, and its slow walk was easy to outpace. As the sauropod made its way along the tidal flats and inland toward a vegetated area, the theropod watched every move, then followed along its footsteps. It was 1938 when Roland T. Byrd, an explorer and fossil collector with the American Museum of Natural History, heard of dinosaur tracks exposed on the carbonate rocks along the Paluxy River near Glen Rose, Texas. On investigation, he not only found three toed tracks thought to be made by a theropod, but also larger, more rounded tracks, which at that time were entirely unknown to science. In 1940, Byrd returned to the site with a Work Projects Administration crew to excavate the trackway. A little over one half of the main trackway slab was sent to the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. The upper adjoining section was transported to Texas Memorial Museum in Austin, Texas. The theropod tracks were most likely made by Acrocanthosaurus, the largest Texas theropod of the early Cretaceous. The large rounded tracks was a Brachiosaurid sauropod, either Paluxysaurus or Sauroposeidon, the first to be scientifically documented. Bones of these walking giants have been found in Texas and Oklahoma in rock units of the same age as the tracks. The theropod trackway parallels and then converges on the sauropod trackway. One of the theropod's left footprints is missing. Does this mean the theropod attacked the sauropod by striking at its side with teeth and claws? We'll never really know for sure, but we do know this. The tracks are an exciting and valuable piece of Texas's natural history, and their potential for science education is immeasurable. Sadly, this iconic piece of Texas history is disintegrating. A professional assessment of the trackway slab was commissioned by UT's College of Natural Sciences in 2009. The study, conducted by Conservation Solutions Incorporated, an accredited conservation company, has revealed that a lack of climate control and the presence of ground moisture in this exhibit building has resulted in the migration and cyclic crystallization of soluble salts in the slab over the past seven decades. This has caused the flaking and loss of surface definition in and around the tracks. To preserve the tracks, they must be removed from this building and be treated. Once conserved, they'll be placed inside the Texas Memorial Museum, an environmentally safe and climate controlled exhibit hall. Inside the Texas Memorial Museum, the tracks will be showcased in an exhibit worthy of their importance. An alcove of the Hall of Geology and Paleontology has already been designated for them. Not only will this exhibit enhance public viewing, it will offer numerous opportunities for educational programming. The Texas Memorial Museum 
currently offers a variety of educational programs about integrating dinosaur tracks and paleontology into your teaching and other educational activities. These programs include teacher training, Museum Express, and public events held throughout the year. For more information about bringing the science of dinosaur tracks to your classroom, visit www.utexas.edu slash TMM slash education. To learn more about the Save the Dinosaur Tracks campaign, visit www.savethedinosaurtracks.org. Thank you.